Smart grid is not just about improving the existing infrastructure that powers our world. It's about realizing the full potential of what we can offer. New transport solutions, support for new economies, and to use the resources we have in the most efficient and effective manner. Hello, I'm Grace Petracci Maturan and I'll be reporting about Smart Grid. Electricity is fundamental to modern society and economy. However, most of the world relies on electricity systems that built around 60 years ago, in which dili na siya efficient and can offer an appropriate response to today's urgent global challenges. There is an estimation na about $13 trillion investment required in energy infrastructure over the next 20 years. At ito yung parang nagtulak para mag-shift towards a low-carbon, efficient, and clean energy system. So, smart grid is a necessary enabler of this transition or changes. Now, yung smart grid, siya na yung papalit sa aging infrastructure natin. So, what is a smart grid? A smart grid is an intelligent, digitized energy network delivering electricity in an undesirable and satisfactory way from source to consumption. And it can be achieved through integration of information, telecommunication, and power technologies with a system ng electricity that exists already. Governments now are increasingly recognized kung ano ang value ng smart grids. Like sa China, they aim to build a smart grid with a budget at 7.3 billion US dollars. And sa US, they dedicated 4.5 billion dollars of its stimulus package. Others like Europe, Japan, Australia, and Korea have now significant initiatives that are currently underway. A smart grid is a two-way dialogue where electricity and information can be exchanged between the utility and its customers. It's a developing network of communications, controls, computers, automation, and new technologies and tools that works together para yung grid is more efficient more reliable and more secure and a more greener because of the reduction of carbon emissions. So with smart grid, tayong mga consumers and the utilities can now have a better communication to help us manage sa ating electricity needs. So example, you have a smart home. This smart home communicates with a grid and enables consumers to manage their electricity usage sa pamamagitan ng pag-measure, of course, sa home electricity consumption more frequently through a smart meter. Utilities can now provide with much better information on how customers can manage their electricity bills. So, inside anang smart homes, mayroong home area network or the H-A-N, the HAN, kung saan nakakonek yung mga smart appliances, thermostats, and other electric devices to an energy management system. Smart appliances and devices will adjust the run schedule para ma-reduce yung electricity demand on the grid, kaya low din yung bills ng consumers. At itong mga smart devices na ito is makontrol siya or ma-scheduled via websites or even in a televisions or TV. Now, ano naman yung mga benefits ng smart grids? So, this include the efficiency and reliability of the electricity supply, the integration of more renewable energy into existing networks, supporting sa mga enhancement or paggawa ng electric vehicles, 
new solution para sa mga customers para ma-optimize nila ang kanilang consumption sa electricity and the reduction of carbon emissions. Before we end, ano ba yung mga major components ng smart grid? So these are the smart meter, the phasor measurement, the information transfer, and the distributed generation. Let's first talk about the smart meter. So a smart meter is an electrical device that specifically recognizes and details the electrical consumption sa isang building with a specified time interval. So, it automatically relays the information doon sa central monitoring station operated, of course, by distribution company. Itong smart meter also will now replace the traditional met meters in majority for the customers including residential areas. And compared to traditional meters, Smart meters have added functionality of utilizing real-time sensors of power of power outage notification and power quality monitoring. So second is the phasor measurement. Smart grid utilizes high-speed sensors na tinatawag na PMU or the phasor measurement unit to monitor power quality and or power grid for disturbances. So, si PMU measures the phasor values and the voltages. Now, the third one is the information transfer. Information transfer technologies is needed to extend the two-way communication features into home application. In telecommunication, it is the process of moving messages containing user information from a source to a sync via a communication channel. Information transfer is just equivalent to data transmissions, which highlights more practical and technical parts. And lastly, the distributed generation. It is also called the on-site generation or decentralized generation. The distributed generation will allow the correction of small-scale renewable generation such as the solar, the wind, the fuel cells, and the microturbines. The generation will be close to the load which reduces transmission line construction costs and transmission power loses. There will also be an increase in customer interaction as they consult and use power back to the electric utility. And because of those things mentioned above, yung reliability din is mag-increase and there's a wide variety of different generation sources connected to the grid.